and welcome to the Young Filmmakers Project. My name is Joe Buselink, and I'm a student at the Vancouver School of Arts and Academics. And I'm actually coming to you live from my home school, and we have a lot of fun movies for you today. Every high school and most middle schools have some sort of video production program where students learn how to shoot and edit video, write scripts, build graphics, and do live shows. While they do all that, they're also building teamwork skills like communication, problem solving, and much more. These programs are part of the district's career and technical education department. Our first film was actually made by some of my classmates. It's a heist movie with a funny twist. I already told you, Tom. I'm out. I can't go back to this kind of work. It's not me anymore. Come on, Stanley. You were the best in the business. If I'm going to be able to pull this off, I need you. Tom, I'm out. It's not going to happen. End of discussion. <sighs> All right. I didn't want to have to do it, but Stanley, you owe me a favor, and it's time to cash in. Tom, it's not going to happen. I won't do it. So everything I did for Madison was for nothing then? She's the reason I won't do it, Tom. She needs me in her life. I can't risk going to jail after she already lost her mother. Stanley, you would have lost both of them if it wasn't for me. You aren't in harm's way. I guarantee that if this goes bust, I'll be the only one suffering from it. Fine. I need two IDs with passcode entry into the building, full disguises, and you want security cameras to watch for anything fishy. How will I find you when it's time? Go your way. It's me. I suppose you're not here just to say hello. I'm afraid not. All right. What is it you need from me? I need an explosive charge and some extra muscle for breaching the compound. These kind of things do not come cheap, you know. I'm aware. Ha ha! It is always a pleasure doing business with you, Tom. All right, here's both of your disguises, earpieces, and pass cards. Remember, the password for the elevator is 28460. Got it? Perfect. And we've already got our watches synchronized, so that means we're ready to go. Nothing can possibly go wrong. And remember, if either of you cross me, I will make you regret the day your felt was trimmed. Now, any last words before we roll out? I uh, may be French, but I do not plan on retreating. I will either go to jail a puppet or leave as a champion. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. Crazy brother we're having. Relax, friend. You are not the one with paper skin. Ha.
Get the bomb. I'm on it. Go, 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 go. Ho. Oh. It's a dud. Stanley, I need you to hack the door. All right. According to the building plan schematics, the code is pole. Pole? Pole. <gasps> Stanley, you didn't tell me there were going to be other puppets in here. I didn't calculate for the fact that they may have a showcase today, but, but, but it's okay. If you guys turn around, there's an emergency exit only 30 feet away. We can be out of here and nobody will notice. No, I already told you. We are not backing out. Tom, we are too close. Keep your eye on the prize. Tom, you promised me I'd get to go home and see my family. You can't put me in harm's way. Hmm. Let's keep moving. <sighs> Victor, get the rope ready. Stanley, how much time do we have? According to my calculations, we have about two minutes before the lights come up. We're cutting it close. Tom, it's not too late to back out. I have a bad feeling about this. Stanley, I... Tom, see harness is ready. Better keep things moving. You have less than 20 seconds. Alright, almost got it. Get ready to pull me up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Stanley! Victor! What's going on? Freeze, dirtbag. You're under arrest. All right, boys, the jig is up. We've got enough evidence in the folder to lock you away for a long time. Do any of you have anything to say for yourselves? Stanley, you suck. You're going to jail for snitching. I didn't snitch. It was Victor. <clears throat> He's going to jail. Silence, you fool. You are an imbecile. Tom is going what? to jail. I... He is the one who was in charge. I, I, I didn't snitch. I, I... I didn't even steal anything! And, 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 and Stanley hacked into the school, so, so, so he should go to jail. And, and he snitched! Stop! I didn't snitch! I don't even like tea! Why are we even stealing tea? I plead the fifth! That's oh, not fair! You can't say that! Okay. Stop! Stop! You're all going to jail! Wait, why? That's it. The interrogation is over. You're all gonna rot behind bars. No, 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 no,
right, so I'm here with the cast and crew of the film Felt. Uh, thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, you want to introduce yourselves? Uh, Cole Peterson. Uh, Zachary Herman. Chris Sessions. Colby Shikatano. All right, so it was a pretty inventive film. Where did the inspiration come from? Well, uh, we actually did, me, Zach, and Colby last year did a movie with puppets, and that was called Poppy Seed Lane. It was kind of like a spoof of Sesame Street. Um, and this year we wanted to kind of take those ideas and make them more fully developed in quality in uh, terms of filmmaking, because we've all learned a lot since then. So. And uh, what was the inspiration to use puppets as your medium? <laughs> um, well, this project was all about liminality and about coming up with liminal ideas. And before we even knew that, we just knew we wanted to use puppets. So then the whole project wasn't really about why puppets, it was about how can we pretend that puppets was a creative choice and not something we <laughs> came up with already before we got the project. That's fair. Gotcha. Uh, can you tell us about the writing process a little bit? Um, yeah, so basically we fought a lot about the idea, <laughs> but then once we finally came up with an idea, we wrote a whole script, and then after we had that script ready, we'd go shot by shot, and then as we were filming, we'd realize we didn't like parts of the script and we'd restart with new material. But mm -hmm. once we had the rough outline, we kind of just went on the spot with our filming. So with using puppets, you probably uh, ran into a lot of issues logistically. Uh, could this gentleman right here speak to that a little bit? I certainly can. Actually, I'll speak to it. That might be a little easier. Um, I think, I mean, one of the big problems with puppets is behind them you've got these hands yeah. and, um, and these arms. And so when you're framing a shot, you have to make sure that the arm is cut out of it, but you also want the shot to look good. And so, I mean, we had to play with that a lot, and there was a lot of just nitpicking things, like, Zach, two inches to the left. And like, no! Like, half an inch back. <laughs> like, no! That's not enough! Right, yeah, um, lots of reshooting, for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, a big challenge for us as filmmakers was uh, trying to convey emotion through puppets, because mm -hmm. unlike an actor where you can uh, move your face and express it that way, you have to use the actual motion of the puppet and through your hand, which is was very interesting to work with. Yeah, there was a lot of um, that first opening scene in the diner. Zach and I were like crammed in underneath a booth, like just cuddling basically. And we also, we had a time limit for that one because we got kicked yeah. out at like seven o'clock. So we had to show up and we had a very set block of time. Yeah, it was intense. So quite a few obstacles to overcome. You guys did yeah. a really good job. Uh, what's next for you guys? Uh, well, I'd love to keep working with puppets. I've worked for, with puppets for a while, but uh, doing this movie, I've kind of realized uh, how possible it is to do puppet movies, because it turned out really good, and it was a lot of fun. But um, Probably going to trade school, um, looking at becoming a plumber. Uh, arts are kind of just a high school thing for me. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to go to film school and uh, make some films. That's the hope. <laughs> from film school. That's ambitious. Uh, yeah, like Chris, I'm uh, also going to film school uh, next year, so uh, getting chances like this to work creatively with my peers is a great opportunity to work myself as an artist and as a filmmaker. Awesome. So we heard a little bit of the writing process. Can you talk about uh, kind of the post-production process of the film? Well, I think one thing that was really interesting is we were kind of doing all the steps at once mm -hmm. um, because of our time constraints. So we were writing scenes while we were filming scenes while we were editing scenes. Um, and it was really interesting to just see all of us kind of collaborate on something that's coming together as we're still working out all the pieces of it. Um, and then it was also interesting to just look at a lot of different styles of spy movies yeah. and try and like add that dramatic tension to puppets through di different editing styles, quick shots and music choices and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. scoring our own music as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The crazy part of this project that still like I can't really believe that we pulled off is every bit of audio in the movie is dubbed over. None of it was original like when we shot. We all recorded over the vocals and sound effects everything else and then put them in, which was pretty cool. Well, you guys did a great job. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Uh, the next group of films actually comes from VSA as well as part of a special assignment. All of these films use the phrase fish out of water as their starting place. Enjoy. <laughs>
Hey, Zach. Zach. Yeah? I can't pay attention to this. I stayed up late last night and I really need some sleep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think I'm almost done. I could be in my bed right now. I'd be nice and asleep. I look like a small animal when I'm sleeping. I'm quite cute. I'm always cute. What's that one song? Um, oh, I know. Where it's like... Man, I wonder what class Spencer is in right now. Man, I like Spencer. Is that lint? Oh, that's some lint. Oh, that smells gross. That, that was a mistake. That smelled terrible. Oh, yo, my belly button looks weird at this angle. What? Zach? Zach? Zach! Yeah? You have been listening, right? Yeah? Alright. Why don't you wake up Cass and get this, this assignment going on. You ever my pencil? Yeah. Whatever. Did you get all that? Yeah. Okay, let's get started. Uh, already? Yeah. I'm waiting. Can anyone tell me what 2 plus 2 equals? Desi, you're early. You try to be late next time. What is going on? Why is everyone so weird? Or is it just me? Why is everyone acting so strange to me? Am I the one different? Or are they the ones different? Thank <laughs> you.
Our final film comes to us from Fort Vancouver High School. A student with cerebral palsy made a documentary in his life skills class. He chose to focus on one of his favorite staff members, PE teacher Paul Blastic. Advice for students. Yes, always be a good listener. You can learn so much if you can just listen and really think about what they're saying. And what they're probably going to say is you should be healthy, active, and you should eat right. Hopefully, that's what they'd say because that's what I'd tell you. School is cool. I became a teacher because I love the lifestyle of a teacher. I get to be with you guys all day long. And then I get to go home, I get to be with my family all day long. And you know what? I work 182 days a year, and the rest of the time, I get to play. Just like you. It's a lifestyle. Do you like sports? Oh, I love sports. Sports are so much fun. Anytime I get to play with a ball, it's going to be good. Because it's going to be up in the air, it's going to be down on the ground. I'm going to get to be able to move around. It's just good. I like competition. I like being around friends. I like to mix and mingle and kind of just do whatever I want. Do you like movies? Do I like movies? No. You know why? Because then I have to sit down in a long time and I have to look at a TV screen when I could be running around and having fun outside, riding bikes, playing football, doing a bunch of different stuff. I like to be active. So when movies come along, I like to go somewhere else and do something fun. Have I ever been bullied? Growing up in high school, I feel like there was some bullying going on. But you know what I did? I always asked them to stop. I used my language. And then if they didn't stop, I'd tell my teacher. But guess what? If the teacher couldn't do anything about it, I'd tell my mom. And luckily, I got into wrestling. And nobody bullied me anymore after I got into wrestling. Jen, why did you choose Mr. Ross to stay at I think it's funny. And I think it's true. What do you want to do after high school? What are your plans? I want to make the Phoenix Marks movie. Do you want to make the movie or the video game? The movie. So do you know what that's called? Do you want to be a video producer? Do you want to make movies? All kinds of movies? Yeah, like Kingdom Hearts 2 movie and like Kingdom Hearts 1. Kingdom Hearts movies. Kingdom Hearts movies. And if you want to see more student films, past episodes of the Young Filmmakers Project, they're all available on the school district's YouTube page. That's youtube.com slash vansdtv. Just look for the Young Filmmakers playlist. That's it for us. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Joe Buselink.